Hey everybody, welcome back, Alex here. Today we're gonna do a machine learning test and we're comparing the M1 Ultra, which has a 48 core GPU, pretty good. So far, the best Apple Silicon GPU is in the M1 Ultra, and we're comparing it against this machine. Now, what's in here? This is an Intel Core i9 beast, but it has NVIDIA RTX 3080 Ti card inside, which is a pretty good graphics card. So, discrete graphics card versus integrated and unified GPU in here. And the test I'm running is this one by Thomas Capel. He has a repository. I'll link to it down below. You can run it yourself if you want. It's a machine learning test that uses TensorFlow. Now he is working on a PyTorch example, but currently PyTorch does not have a GPU support. And I wanted to use the GPU of this machine to see what it's capable of for this particular test. When PyTorch does have GPU support, I'll be doing that test as well. So. There was a little bit of a setup involved in getting this set up on both of these machines. Here I have an Ubuntu environment and here I have the Mac environment and I've set up Miniconda on the Mac. If you want to know how to do that, I have a separate video showing you how to do that, but I already had that set up and I've already cloned the repository. So all we got to do is just run it. I'm going to follow the instructions that are in the repository and you can too, but the difference is I'm going to add this time command so we can time it and it's going to be the Python scripts so on and so forth. The hardware that we're using here, we are gonna add a GPU name. My GPU name is M1 Ultra. All right, I've set that one up. Now let's set this one up. Same exact command, time, Python, same script. And here the GPU name is gonna be RTX 3080 Ti. Why do we need the GPU name? Because Thomas created this repository so that he can track all these different results from people automatically. Um, check out the repo for more information on that. And we're ready to go. Let's do it. Soon you might hear the Intel machine taking off like an airplane. Rather, it's the fans in that machine that are gonna spin up quite a bit because uh, the GPU is gonna get quite hot, I'd imagine. So to cool that system down, I'm gonna open some doors, and maybe even a window. Now, while this test is happening, I also have the power draw recorded. So we're using about 117 on the Mac Studio and we're using 476 watts on the Intel machine. It fluctuates between 300 something and fi over 500 watts I've seen it. Quite a bit more power draw on the Intel box. Rather, I should say the uh, RTX GPU. Now on the Mac, just a quick glance to show you that um, we are using most of the GPU. It's about 98%. It's up to uh, almost 100% there. If we take a look at the GPU history, it's kind of slow, but you can see those bars coming in over there from the right side. It's filling up the screen, kind of like the CPU history that I've showed here on this channel before. And the blue color represents uh, basically background processes. And that's what this is considered to be. If I play a video, for example, right now, the GPU is going to allocate more towards that than this particular machine learning task. All right, so we are seeing that the GPU is being utilized quite a lot here. We're up to 120 watts or so. So even though you might have seen some benchmarks here on YouTube showing that the GPU on the M1 Ultra is not being fully utilized, maybe those benchmark tests just don't fully utilize the GPU, but you can use the full GPU. I am hearing this weird noise coming from the M1 Ultra, from the Mac Studio, I should say. Let's see if I can capture it. It's like a little cricket or something. I don't know if you can hear it. Maybe I'll make a separate video on that, but that's kind of unexpected. So far, this machine has been super quiet. And if we take a look at the fan speed, the fans remain at 1300 something, and they pretty much never change. <laughs> Even we're loading up the GPU right now quite a bit. The fans are just not budging on that machine. We'll see if that results in any kind of uh, performance difference here. And also the temperature is going up a little bit, but not significantly. And that's probably why the fans aren't kicking on. All right, we'll be back when this is done. Okay, folks, well, we've got some results here and uh, it's kind of expected, right? This is an RTX 3080 Ti, by the way. So it's a dedicated NVIDIA card, five minutes, 59 seconds on that one. The same test on the M1 Ultra with 48 core GPU took 14 minutes and 59 seconds, almost three times longer. If you're trying to do some GPU related activities like machine learning, if you're comparing the Mac Studio Ultra with other Macs, by the way, if you're interested in seeing that, let me know in the comments down below. If you're comparing it to other Macs, then uh, it's gonna be pretty good, I'd imagine. 
have to still do the comparison there. But if you're comparing it to a dedicated Nvidia graphics card, then there's no contest. So whatever test Apple was running when they were comparing it to the 3090 and saying that it has equivalent performance, it was not this test. And I have a little secret to tell you folks that this test on the Core i9 machine was actually running not in a Linux environment, but in WSL under Windows. Taking that into consideration, if it runs on purely Linux machine, it might be even faster than this. And for those folks that are curious, I did run this a couple of times. Here are the results again, five minutes, 51 seconds on the Intel machine, RTX 3080, and 14 minutes and 49 seconds on the Mac Studio with the M1 Ultra. If you expected this result, I'd appreciate a thumbs up. If you didn't expect this result, then you've learned something new, then it deserves a thumbs up, doesn't it? Well, thanks a lot, folks. I'll see you next time. <laughs>